What's going on guys, Leon Bright here and in this video I'm going to teach you as a music streamer how to use streamer song list to keep your songs nice and easy to manage whilst you stream. Just before we get started, I post videos on YouTube twice a week, once on a Tuesday, which is going to be a similar video to this. Tips and tricks, tech, hacks kind of thing. And on a Friday, I post a cover of a song or a like an original music video. Also, I stream on Twitch three times a week, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Link to that is in the description. I'd love to see you there. Let's get on with the video. Let's do it. So what is streamer song list? Streamer song list is a place where you can have all the songs that you perform, all the songs that you know, all in one place. Your chat can go in and request those songs. They get automatically filled into a queue and all you need to do is tick them off every single time you've played them. Save yourself the hassle of thinking, oh, what am I playing? What am I playing? What am I playing? What am I playing? Have it all there, nice and easy. Let's go, I'm gonna teach you how to set it up right now. So the first thing you wanna do is come over to streamersonglist.com. Now in the top right hand corner, you will, you will have a sign in option. You will have to click sign in there and then you're gonna to have to connect your account to Twitch. There's no actual sign in for streamer song list. It's all done through Twitch, so it's nice and easy. It just takes you a couple of clicks. You might have to click authorize or something like that. Um, but once you have done that, it will say your Twitch name top right, click on that and then go to view my Twitch song list. So what have we got here? We have got songs on the left hand side queue we've got saved queue history bot commands and settings there's not too many options in this but i absolutely love it and you can see here that i have got about 164 songs added in here manually and how to add songs manually you'd have to go to where it says songs here click here which is this page and then you'd click plus create a new song you'd say um whatever you want say the kill artist 30 seconds to Mars and then you'd go create here it's obviously it's telling me that I can't do that because there's already a song in there called the kill by 30 seconds to Mars um, but you'd go create or if you're doing a bunch of songs then you can just click create and add other and you can also make it active or inactive as well see I've got a couple of inactive songs um, one of them is my hype train song which is crazy train Ozzy Osbourne and you can see that if we type in Ozzy Osbourne or Ozzy that's not coming up no songs found so my chat can't actually request it manually but if we click on show inactive here that will come up as crazy train there by Ozzy Osbourne so it is in there but it's just hidden the next tab down is your queue this is the screen you're going to be looking at most of the time whilst you're live i tell you what let's add some songs to so say if we're looking at it from a user's point of view if we're going to request a song say one of my audience would like to hear lovely day by bill withers they come into the set list and they go request yep fantastic also what they can do as well is if you go to your twitch let's go exclamation mark sr space the kill that is SR is song request, the kill. And then here it goes. I've actually got a bot set up to my song list so it will kind of automatically populate the cheers and the subscriptions and all of that into, into place. However, you won't have that. Instead of saying friendly musician, this will say song list bot, but it will give you exactly the same messages. So that's gone into the queue, got the kill in there as well. When you're in edit mode as a streamer, you will have this option here. So you'll have everything here and then here you've got view song details. So you could actually have the chords, lyrics and the tabs into here. You can delete a request, you can remove from the queue. You can over here, you can move them about. Say we've just done Bill Withers Lovely Day, yeah? We've just played that, all good, we're gonna go on to the next one. We will then click set song as played. Just click that, gone, it's into the next thing. You can actually add all the chords, the tabs and the lyrics to each individual song. I don't actually use that feature, I use my iPad because my iPad has got all the lyrics on it and I know it's got an auto scroll function. That's just what I'm used to. Sometimes I use ultimate guitar, but still that's got an auto scroll feature. So I just have that on the screen and I'll just let that auto scroll. I, I just, that's just what I'm used to. Next up is the bot commands. So if you click on the bot commands here on the left hand side, it will come up with all the commands that you can use in the chat. Have a look through these, see what they do. Um, it, it literally all says exactly what they do on there. So just have a look through it. And to add more commands, you can go into settings, 
bot commands here and just enable and disable the ones that you want to use and you don't want to use. So the bot commands that are most used on my chat are exclamation mark SL. That will bring up the link to the song list. Then we've got exclamation mark SR plus the song title. It sends the song straight into the queue from the chat. Then you've got exclamation mark wrong song. Anyone typing that into the chat will, it will then get rid of their last requested song. So say if they put in a wrong song or they put in a song, but they want a different one for whatever reason they've done the wrong song. They just go exclamation mark wrong song. That will clear the last song that they've put in. Exclamation mark SQ is, it brings up the song queue. So I think it's just the same kind of link as the song list, but it's just, it sends them to the queue instead of the songs. And then for yourself to turn the song list on, to turn requests on, it is exclamation mark SRS space on. To turn it off is exclamation mark SRS space off. There are a few different commands to learn but you'll get the hang of it. It's pretty simple, it's very straightforward. You can use overlays as well, which gives you the song title, the artist, and who it's requested by. If I go to my main screen for streaming, actually, you're just gonna have to ignore this box up here. This is for my loop pedal camera, but the, the webcam isn't actually plugged in at the moment. You can see down here is where the requests are. If we add in a song, so say the requests are currently closed, but someone's cheered 500 bits or five pound donation or gifted a sub or a sub, they will then get priority requests on my channel. So what I would do is click plus here and then let's go say in the end by Lincoln Park, requested by Leon Bratz and then you go add. But before I do that, I'm gonna go onto the other screen and then you'll see it auto populate on the screen. So once that comes up, I click add now. That's already in there. That's already in there. That's how quick it is. You can get these overlays as well. If you just come into the settings bit here, click on overlays, and then you can just go through them all. You can click one here. Actually, let's click on this one here. You can preview up the top. This is what it will look like here. And then you can add the overlay into your Streamlabs. It's really, really simple. And if you wanna know how to add these overlays into say Streamlabs or OBS, all you need to do is click on the overlay here, which is in my overlays, click on edit and then click browser source URL, copy the URL, add a browser source, put the URL into the browser source of OBS or Streamlabs and then that should pop up instantly. And I think it's worth noting as well that when I have to turn the song list off, I usually play, say I'm playing for about five hours. At the moment, I have about 17, 18, 20 songs for the free requests, then I turn the list off. From then on, it's paid songs, it's paid songs. So people would get a priority request if they cheered 500 bits or more, a subscription, they gifted a sub, five pound or more donation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can have those rules, you can have whichever rules you want, it's completely up to you. But that is just the way I do it. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. It's nice and easy to set up. If you do have any problems at all, please do let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But other than that, thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then please smash that thumbs up button like you always do. Hit the subscribe button as well to not miss on any future videos like this. Come and join us on one of the Twitch streams. Like I said, I stream every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. We've also got a Discord. All the links to all of that is in the description. So hopefully I will see you on one of the streams soon. But happy streaming, guys. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.